A good afternoon to all of you. It's a pleasure to have you here. We do recognize that we have invited you at short notice, and therefore we'd like to thank all of you for joining us this afternoon as we present the outcome of the election. And forgive me that I don't have you know, the details of everybody here, but I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Her Excellency Mrs. Johnson Sally, former president of Liberia, who is leading the ECOWAS delegation. Also acknowledge the presence of Her Excellency Diana Konya, who is the head of the European Union delegation to Ghana, and Her Excellency Stephanie Sullivan, who is the US ambassador to Ghana. I would like to thank all of you both our local and international observers for taking time to join us this afternoon. To God be the glory, great things he has done and greater things he will do. On behalf of the Electoral Commission of Ghana, I welcome you to a significant moment in our country's history, the declaration of the results of the 2020 presidential election. As a commission, we are aimed at delivering the results 24 hours after the election. But as the saying goes, man proposes, but God disposes. We encountered a few challenges, including unexpected rains, which halted voting in some polling stations, leading to a few delays, coupled with the usual requests for recounting of votes in some polling stations. We regret the anxiety caused and ask that you bear with us. We hope that in subsequent elections, we will be able to live up to our timeline. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I indicate that this is a historic election because for the first time in the history of our country, the election day went by without major incidents and occurrences. It is no wonder that the BBC described this year's election as boring, and I put that in quotes. A testament of the seamless incident free process that we witnessed on Monday. As a commission, we thank the almighty God for his faithfulness and for far, how far he has brought us. We recognize without a shadow of doubt that we could not have come this far without him. And as the good book states, a horse is prepared for battle, but victory comes from God. And we remain eternally grateful and thankful to God for the victories he has wrought on our behalf, and they are numerous. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is heartwarming to stand before you today to declare the results of the 2020 general election. We have come from far. We started this year with hope and promise, poised to reform and overhaul the core and critical aspects of our work and the very system on which credible, transparent elections are hinged. And here I'm referring to our biometric voter management system. We subjected this process to a robust and rigorous procurement process. Even then, from the very onset, we faced stiff opposition from within and without. As if that was not enough, we were hit by the COVID-19 virus when we least expected it. In the face of all this, we remained resolute, determined to deliver credible, transparent, orderly, timely, and peaceful elections in Ghana. We persevered throughout the lockdown to establish strong and efficient systems and processes that would stand the test of time. With hindsight, the Commission was able to use the circumstances of COVID-19 and the lockdown to our benefit, in that we were able to use the time to reflect on our processes, systems, and structures, and to implement reforms within our institution promoting competitive procurement processes, as well as efficient, transparent electoral processes. This strategy involved our entire staff, who worked tirelessly behind the scenes, burning the midnight oil, 
to achieve the results we witnessed today. Our mantra was that while the country may be on lockdown, as a commission, we had to keep moving forward to achieve the numerous tasks ahead of us. And so, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here we are today. The results are evident for all to see. Indeed, the hard work, determination, and focus of all the staff, coupled with God's grace, has paid off. Today, we have succeeded in reforming our entire biometric voter management system, procuring and deploying robust equipment and devices, including our biometric verification devices, our biometric registration kits, our user-friendly software to govern the entire biometric regi voter registration and verification system, and a brand new data center, to mention a few, all of which went through an international competitive tendering process. Today, we can all be proud of a brand new biometric voter register that reflects unique individuals who are eligible to vote. With determination and focus, we were able to prepare a register that recorded 17,027,641 eligible voters in just 38 days and in a rainy season. Thankfully, the just ended election did not witness issues of missing names, misplacement of polling stations, among others. Indeed, we hardly experienced any issues of missing names during the just ended election. Again, as a country, we can be proud of the fact that for the first time in the history of this country, the election was funded without reliance on monetary assistance from external sources. I can assure you, however, dear citizens, that we put your resources to prudent use. Furthermore, as a country, we can be proud of the fact that more than 95% of our procurement for the 2020 election was done through an open competitive tendering process, as opposed to sole sourcing and restricted tendering, as was the case in the past. This no doubt ensured value for money in all our processes. At the right time, the Commission will share its report on its procurement processes and savings made to date. As a country, we can also be proud of the fact that for the first time in our history, all our processes from registration to election day were laid bare to the citizenry. Through the Let the Citizen Know initiative, we provided every citizen who cared to know relevant timely information on all our processes. Today, citizens have access to information on the number of registrants on the voters' roll, the number of registered male and female voters, the number of youth, the number of first-time voters, and the number of persons with disabilities who are on the electoral roll. In addition, today we can be all be proud that as Ghanaians we went to the polls and cast our votes peacefully. We can be proud that the technology, the technology deployed on election day worked efficiently and effectively. Voters all over the country have testified to the pleasant and seamless experienced experiences at their respective polling stations. We must be proud that it took in many instances some three to five minutes for the average voter to be verified and to vote. We must be proud that the usual hassle and struggle at polling stations, the long queues, and the overcrowding were all absent. We must be proud that in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, we all went to the polls with our safety guaranteed as a result of the stringent safety protocols employed by the Commission. And to crown it all, we must be proud of the fact that we have been able to declare the results some 48 hours after the election day. With hard work, focus, 
determination, and above all, God's help, we can do all things. Yes, we can. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is important to emphasize that we have achieved our successes as a result of the collective efforts of the entire team. And here I'm referring to our commission members, our directors, our regional directors, our deputy directors, our deputy regional directors, our district electoral officers, our administrative works and mechanical staff. We have all worked round the clock to achieve our goals. To all our team members, I say I equal, I salute you all. We certainly could not have succeeded without you, and I commend you all highly. To the dear citizens of our country, we thank you for believing in us and for walking this journey with us. Your constructive feedback has helped strengthen our processes and our work and has left us in a much better place than when we started. To our media partners, we say thank you. You have been our gateway to the citizenry and have helped bring the commission to the doorstep of citizens. We could not have achieved our mandate without you and we are grateful for your partnership over the last few months. To the civil society organizations that have believed in us and shared recommendations from well thought out research and analysis, we acknowledge and commend you highly and we say thank you. We also thank our election observers, both local and international, for their interest in ensuring that the whole electoral process was transparent, fair and credible. We commend highly the international observers who have traveled all the way to Ghana in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic to observe our elections. Your feedback so far has been constructive and we look forward to receiving your full reports. We have no doubt that your reports will help strengthen our work and our processes. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the election was conducted in 38,000 622 polling stations across the country and in 275 constituencies. I'll now turn my attention to the reason why we are here. At the end of a transparent, fair, orderly, and timely and peaceful presidential election, the total number of valid votes cast was 13,434,000 574, representing 79% of the total registered voters. Permit me to present the results in the order of appearance on the 2020 presidential ballot. At the end of the polls, Nana Adodanko Akufuado of the New Patriotic Party obtained 6 million 730,413 votes, being 51.595% of the total valid votes cast. John Dramani Mahama of the National Democratic Congress obtained 6,214,889 votes, being 47.366% of the total valid votes cast. Christian Kovina Andrews of the Ghana Union Movement obtained 105,565 votes. Alva Kovina Green Street of the Convention's People's Party obtained 12,215 votes, being 0.093% of the total valid votes cast. Madam Ekwe Adonko of the Ghana Freedom Party obtained 5,575 votes, being 0.042% of the total valid votes cast. Henry Herbert Latte of the Great Consolidated Popular Party obtained 3,574 
being 0.027% of the total value votes cast. Hassan Ayariga of the All People's Party obtained 7,140, being 0.054% of the total value votes cast. Percival Kofi Apalu of the Liberal Party of Ghana obtained 7,690 votes, being 0.059% of the total valid votes cast. David Asibi Akesara of the People's National Convention obtained 10,887, being 0.083% of the total valid votes cast. Bridget Akosua Jibonuku of the Progressive People's Party obtained 6,848 votes, being 0.052% of the total valid votes cast. Nana Kodedu Ajeman Rawlings of the National Democratic Party obtained 6,612 votes, being 0.050% of the total valid votes cast. Alfred Kwame, I see a Walker, independent candidate, obtained 9,703 votes, being 0.074% of the total valid votes cast. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, currently the election results we have declared exclude that of the Techiman South constituency, which has a total voter population of 128,018. 128,018. The said election results are not ready because they are being contested. As such, collation has not been completed. It is important to note, however, that the difference between the total number of votes between the first and second candidates is 515,000. 524 votes. As a result, if we were to add the 128,018 full results to the results of the second candidate, it would not change the outcome of the election. Hence, our declaration of the 2020 presidential results without that of Techiman South. Indeed, if you were to add the entire results, or co collate all the results from the Techiman South constituency and add that to the, 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 the percentage and the votes of the second candidate, Mr. John Dramani Mahama, he would obtain 47.873% of the total votes cast. And Nana Dodankwa Kufuado would obtain 50.8% of the total votes cast. It is on that basis that we say that the outcome of the election will not change. Hence, our declaration of the 2020 presidential results without that of the human South. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on the basis of the foregoing election results, and by the power vested in me as the chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Ghana and the returning officer of the presidential election, it is my duty and honor to declare Nana Adodankwa Akufuado as President-elect of the Republic of Ghana. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Let peace reign. Thank you.